Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be fertilizing all of my uh, trees, shrubs, perennials, turf, everything all at once with an organic fertilizer. I'm using Espoma's Plant Tone. Uh, I am not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. Um, just it is, I, I like this product a lot. I normally, uh, you'll see videos in the past, I do this in February. Uh, I'm, a, I'm jumping the gun a little bit this year, but everything is completely dormant. We've had some good cold weather. We're getting some snow and ice, and that freeze thaw can actually help get fertilizer uh, down in the ground. It won't force any new growth on anything because everything's completely dormant. And organic fertilizers really just feed the soil microbes, and the soil microbes kind of take care of your plants. All that stuff is asleep right now. So I'm not waking anything up by doing this early, and it'll be here um, when the appropriate time for the plants to start growing uh, is later in March or April. So I got, um, I just sling this out by hand. If you've watched any of the videos uh, in the past, uh, it's a bit dusty. So wear a mask uh, when you do it. You'll see, me, you'll see that in just a minute. I made the mistake in a video two years ago of not wearing a mask and you can see the dust uh, in the air um, while, uh, while during that video. Also, you wanna wear gloves and probably clothes that you're not that, <laughs> that aren't that important to you because it does, it is smelly stuff, uh, that's for sure. Um, they have different rates on this bag for, you know, for having it directly on the ground under your mulch or on top of your mulch. Uh, this is a 36 pound bag I'm using on a few thousand square feet in my backyard. I'm going to throw it out fairly evenly. I'm just not worried about, um, uh, I, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about the amount that I'm putting down. I, this, is, this, this works for me. Uh, a couple thousand square feet, this 36 pound bag works perfect. I've got one for the backyard. I've got one for the uh, front yard. I would never pull my mulch back uh, and fertilize uh, my individual plants because pulling that mulch back is gonna expose a ton of weed seeds. And uh, come March 15th to April 1st, somewhere in there, all those weed seeds are just gonna germinate like crazy and you will regret having pulled the mulch back. So I'm just gonna do it right over the top Keep on going, works perfect for me. Again, I think in general, people are told to over fertilize their plants. I just do this once a year on the things that are in the ground. My containers are different. Containers do require you to come back and re-fertilize them during the growing season. But even that is way overdone. These people, folks telling you to fertilize those pots once a week and that kind of thing, that's overdone as well. So I'm just gonna open the top of this bag using my pruners. Again, it's dusty almost immediately. If you're not using an organic fertilizer, if you're using some sort of synthetic prill, like a stay green fertilizer or something like that, um, which I, I just in general don't recommend in your, in your landscape. But if you do, do wait uh, to use those synthetic fertilizers. They have some, some possibility of, you know, uh, on warmer days actually starting to get to work and, and, and pushing your plants forward a little too early in the season. Organic fertilizers, I'm just not worried about that. They can be done in the winter. I went to get gloves and a, the only matching pair of gloves. <laughs> one is uh, for my left and the other one is for my left. I don't know how I've ended up with two, <laughs> two left hand gloves. So uh, I did find a right hand glove. It's just a completely different type of glove and it's missing a finger actually. Anyway, there you go. There's my, <laughs> there's my glove selection. <laughs> but okay, oh, I need to put on a mask first. So let's do that again. Uh, again, it is dusty, um, so there you go. Got a mask, got two non-matching gloves. Uh, anyway, so again, I just reach in here, get a bit in my hand, just like that, and I sling it at things. And I have found this technique. Works perfect, and I'm just gonna use up use up this bag in this back garden space. I'm fertilizing everything. I'm not just fertilizing that. Keep in mind the roots from this are all out in here as well. Okay, so I'm fertilizing. I'm, I'm assuming that the plant's all the way over here as well. Also, I'm gonna come back in here and plant annuals and perennials and other things in this space. So all of this will kind of be pre-fertilized.
One last step I do is I will just take my rake and just go around and knock it off of the uh, foliage down to the ground. That's a, uh, um, just get it down to the ground where it belongs. A uh, little rain will knock the dust part of it off, but the, uh, the larger uh, granular uh, parts of it, that's all I really need to, uh, that's all I really need to do. Just get it down to the ground where it can start warm working once the soil starts uh, warming up. And that's literally, I say all the fertilizing I'm doing, but it's not all the fertilizing I'm doing. When this project was started, uh, about an inch of compost went down on this entire landscape. It's subsequently been mulched three times in two years uh, with triple shredded hardwood mulch. Could have been pine straw, could have been brown mulch, black mulch, red mulch, mulch of your dreams. I, I don't care what mulch, but it was been covered with organic material. Uh, and then leaves have been allowed to decompose on it, which you can see out here now. May look messy to some folks, but these leaves are gonna get covered in mulch again very soon. And it's gonna look perfectly tidy again. The turf's gonna wake back up. Uh, so it, it's being fertilized by all of this organic material breaking down. This once a year fertilization I'm doing, this is just to make sure I'm not missing some basic micronutrient that happens to be in that fertilizer. You know, maybe something out here is using, you know, all the boron, maybe something out here is using something. This kind of well-balanced once a year organic fertilizer is kind of taking care of that. Everything else is being fertilized by mycorrhizal fungi relationship that these plants have with the fungi under the ground or a bacterial relationship that they have and this material breaking down, earthworms breaking down organic material and making those readily available for plants that like to be fed that way. So things are being fertilized. They're just not necessarily being fertilized from a fertilizer bag. So keep that in mind. So that's it. That's my process. I'm gonna do finish up back here in the backyard, rake it off the foliage, do the same thing out in the front, and that's it. My containers are getting fertilized as I'm going, the ones that are still out here in the landscape during the winter time, and they'll be re-fertilized later in the season. Vegetable garden will get fertilized each time I flip over to a new crop of vegetables, uh, and that's it. Um, other than that, the shrubs and trees, this is it. This is all they're getting other than all the organic material that's breaking down and feeding them as well. Thank you guys for watching.